Hi, so my name is Prabhu Nawali, co-founder of Avesha and maintainer of uh, Cube Slice. Let me just get this right and get rid of this. All right, so let's go here. All right, so in your cloud journey, our Kubernetes journey, there comes a time when you will be asked to do one thing. I want to move some of my services from one cloud, from one cluster in the, or one or more clusters in the cloud to another cloud for whatever the reason. Could it be lower compute, lower egress, lower, like an HA, DR, governance, a number of reasons you will be asked to move the, the services to another cloud, right? So the tricky part is most clusters in one cloud will have some tethering to manage services in that cloud. Like, could it be like in a database or queues, uh, whatever, like in a lot of uh, different uh, services. Now, most of the time, these services will be accessed with the private endpoints. And you want to keep that aspect of it, not exposing the private FQDN to anywhere else. And then, OK, oh, here we go. We want to migrate, but we are going to hit a roadblock. No public access points allowed, no changes to application, and I want a secure access, right? So what do we do now, right? We hit a roadblock, and here comes the solution. So CNCF Sandbox Project, CubeSlice, solved this in a, in a very elegant way. So what is CubeSlice, right? So CubeSlice is a multi-cloud, multi-cluster, multi-tenant, secure, seamless service connectivity solution. So the connectivity, service connectivity as at the Kubernetes service level, not including any service mesh. So it's a simplified east-west across the cluster connectivity. And Slice acts as a, a network um, layer. It's agnostic. Um, overly network connects uh, across the clusters. You can do import, export uh, services for connectivity across the slice. So how does it work, right? So in a, a quick uh, nutshell, so we have a controller. We have clusters, like you know, cloud one, cloud two, or region one, region two. So you, uh, you register clusters, create a slice. So it creates an a VPN channel, um, FIPS compliant, if, especially if you're worried about the, the compliance, um, uh, create a slice, add namespaces to the slice, deploy services, then export once you want to export to the other side, export the service, import the service, connect the services. So this whole thing can be done without any service mesh complexity built into it, and it's a, a, a specific isolation. Now, you want more sizes, you can create every specific slice. So every slice has its own specific overlay network, so that they, there's an isolation between that. Like you, know, you can do distributed Mongo, um, other ones. So now going back to our, um, like you know, the question: How do we like you know get this, the connectivity to the managed service that we left behind in the other cloud, right? So we deploy a external service on one of the on the slides. Let's say this is the slides, and I move the green part from left to right, and I want to access the the managed service from the right side, from the green part. So we deploy a slice VPC egress gateway. This can be any gateway API compliant uh, component. So remember, like, you know, the, the, the FQDN is slice demo, Mongo, whatever the cloud, um, like, an you know, FQDN with a private IP, still there, like, with a the, with the private uh, endpoint. Now, we do a, a service import of that one into, on the slice, which will export it to the other side. Now, the good part of it is that FQDN is aliased. So the same FQDN is sent to the other side, so the, the access uh, from your green part will use the same connection string. So whatever the connection string you have on your cloud one, will be used by the same the parts on the right to access the connecting part on the other side. So this with way with this way you can access the access the cloud like you know private uh, managed services. 
So migrate services with the confidence. Right? So that's the uh, summary of it. Uh, come check us out, uh, CubeSlice, uh, CubeSlice sa Sandbox project. We recently got onto Sandbox. Um, we are excited about some of the, um, the new use cases, continuing with our multi-cloud, multi-cluster, multi-tenant theme. So we are doing the GPO allocation um, extension and also resource usage extension as well. So this is like a, just a glimpse of the GPU service, um, GPU cluster slicing, GPU VPC, dynamic allocation. So there are no good um, allocation platforms um, for in open source ones, right? Like, you know, uh, especially dynamic uh, allocation across the slices, so, so across the slices and across the clusters. So as you deploy the GPU workloads across the slices or across the clusters, uh, we, we want to check uh, um, slice as a way to get you there, basically, right? So that's the, the new use case that we are working on. We are very excited about it. Um, it will help you, help you with the more allocations. Uh, improve the utilization. Um, basically, these are expensive resources, so we want to get more ROI out of your uh, GPU with the more allocations to different teams, rack pipelines. So come as, uh, meet us. Um, like, you know, we have demos uh, uh, in the tag run time booth uh, Thursday 3 to 5 p.m. Um, that's about it. I think I'm out of time. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.